Hello friends, Sentinel H here, back with more Space Engineers with Shiva. Hello. So emerging from our little medical bay, there's a new addition to our uh, lonely little... Basically flee your ships. Lonely little area. Oh yeah, yeah there's I'm a couple made. ships here. Uh, we're gonna check this one out first. So Shiva's been hard at work building these little ships. Well, they're, they're big little ships, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna come in and see what what's up. Ooh, mm -hmm. a little jitter there. All right, so we got another airlock. Oh, goodness, I'm flying all over the place. All right. Cycle the airlock. The door doesn't even look like it's closed. <laughs> yeah, so that's a, I think that's like a spacing problem. These are actually the vanilla doors, I believe. Yeah. The very original doors, too. Two. All right, we're at 100%. Waiting for the door to open. All right, how you should go? So tell me about this place here. You got? Um, it's meant as it's my first attempt at ships gone large. It's fully pressurized. It has two compartments. This is the main kind of like um processing or all the utilities here. We right. the ship mostly runs on batteries and it has a shield that is right now idle. idle. Yeah, you've got like three a little LCD screens here. Because mm. of three cryopods, and there's the gyros right there. Um, it okay. has six oxygen, mini oxygen farms on it. Oh, if yeah? you were looking these windows up here, is that what? Which ones? Uh, both windows. Oh, on top. Yeah. Okay, I see that. And we got an assembler and a refinery right here. The refinery's yeah. behind all the other big LCDs. Yeah. So you can see how much of everything you've got. That's weird. What's weird? The door being closed properly. Behind, anyway, behind you, we have the ice processors here and the oxygen tanks right over here. Right. And the glass again. And the medical station. Mm -hmm. And over here, we got the, the car containers and the one hydrogen powered reactor. Right, that hydrogen reactor right there. What's through this door? The brig? I mean, the, uh, the, the, uh, Top, basic cockpit. Top, yeah. <laughs> Why did I say brig? Oh, if we come into here, this is the main seat. In front of it, I have a bunch of things, but something, something's messing up one of them. Hang ah. on. Should we? Yep. Yeah, you have to be careful because in some areas it's pretty easy to kill yourself. I should sit in this chair. <laughs> Yeah, so Very what we cool. have here for the main cockpit is on the on the right we have c cargo mass, which mm -hmm. tells you how much the mass is, cargo mass, mass your cargo is contributing. Below we have speed, acceleration, dampers, and how much power is being being pulled from the battery. Right, but, that's cool. And on the above, on the top section, I have the jump drive charge on the left. Locate GPS coordinates in the middle and hydrogen tanks on the right. I see that. This is a hydrogen powered ship. 2.6%. Not very much hydrogen yeah. in this ship, huh? Yeah, but enough to move me around. Right. Well, that's cool. I like it. It's very um, airy in here <laughs> with all this glass. Yeah. Too. Yeah, and then behind the passenger seats on the top. Is the top section is the, is a separate LC control course program to control all these LCDs over here. So right. if we look at yeah, take a hit in the back or 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 if something happens in the back with the, the timer back there, this thing should keep running. Right. Redundant and there's also a systems. few buttons to turn it on and off. Yep. And below you just see you can see the status of the airlock. Nice. So Shiva has gone ahead and added a personnel entrance. Using these nifty little uh, single block glass uh, air airlock things. locks. So if I activate yeah. it. Fantastic. And there's high oxygen in here, so I can take my helmet off. Yep. Go through this house shaped, uh, this peaked hallway. We can have this lovely window into our parking garage and the progress that we've made on it. Over here, we have a way out into the actual garage, and right here, we have an elevator. I like the elevator. It's really cool. It's a little jittery. Yep. But it is a fully functioning elevator. 
Very cool. Yeah, like I said before, it's 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 it works better if you turn your chip pack and turn off the, the dampeners. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> and this leads us to the upper area. So right now we've got this sort of a room up here. Um, we could always expand them or add more rooms off of them. Mm -hmm. But for now, we've got, we got looks like this, and then there's nothing at the back yet. But there we go. Allow me to show everyone the parking garage. All of the parking stalls for our rovers are completed. We've used the mm -hmm. force fields so that we could, at some point, if we wanted to, pressurize them. Although we'd have to put a full ceiling and back wall on there. I actually have an idea how to do that. Um, Still. But it looks really good. It's exactly what I wanted. It, it, the, the, these awesome orange uh, beams in the ceiling making it look sweet. And We didn't even plan on the orange accents on the um, force fields. It just happened to be there, and it just looks awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy with the way it, it's come out. And uh, These ones back <coughs> here. None of the blocks in the back have built. I think that the... Uh, the nanites are still out of iron, aren't they? Probably. I have to double check. That's what happened. We had built so much stuff that the nanites had run. <laughs> the nanite system had run out of uh, the resources. I just built a quick medical bay in the, in the tunnel near the garage. Yeah, I don't have any resources to actually place blocks either. <laughs> Whatever shall we do, sheaves? You know that now that that uh, mining drill's gone, we don't need this enormous uh, pipeline. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start grinding it down. Hey, can I drive this little rover, in, this big rover, in here? Will it let me? Uh, I'm not sure if to check, but you can try. Yeah, it will. No but there's no fuel. Yeah, turn, you have to turn oh, it on. I turned it on. It, it has batteries. It didn't work the first time I tried to turn it on. Mm -hmm. I want to. Oh, that. Now I got to disengage parking brake, yes. Mm -hmm. How do I do that again? P. Well, make sure the MOs are on too. I'll give you more traction. How do I do that? There should be a key binding for it. Oh, they're on already. You're they're good. on. I want to try and pull it into one of these. Uh, Watch out for the spotlight. It's not stopping. You have to pull the push brake on. Oh, yeah. That's how you stop. I'm going to go move the spotlight. Come on, stop, you, you darn thing. When driving wheeled vehicles is more complicated than driving spaceships. Well, if you don't know how to do it. Because the proof's in the pudding right here. If we can't actually pull vehicles into these parking spots, there's no point to having <laughs> built any of this. Well, Jet Blade still isn't able to yeah. join. You perfect fit. Ha <laughs> ha ha! Yeah! I believe the way you lose this massive arc reactor and move the spotlights and we start pulling actually vehicles into your at a steady rate. Do you know what we should do, Sheaves? We should design our vehicles so that we can get out on the left side. <laughs> so that we can go to the stairs. Oh, I kind of parked it on the staircase a little bit. Why do these look like different colors? They are Look, the entrance. Color. I fr I messed that up. I you accidentally paint. You accidentally painted half of it. I yeah, while I, I was painting, while I was painting the um, other ship. I didn't think I was going crazy. <laughs> so I had to figure out how I'm gonna fix it by manually painting it all back to the normal color. Yeah, if I know that, but it, mm -hmm. I pretty much covered all the left sprite side into the tunnel. Now we still need to figure out how we're going to light this room. That'll be your job this time. Well, see, I've got lights. But I don't think if I put them in the ceiling, I don't think that they'll reach the floor. 
Oh, I can adjust them. Because, look, there's small lights right there actually reaching the floor, and spotlights can easily reach the ground. Why did it turn? No, I need these to be the same direction so they look good. That works. Heads up, coming through. Whoa, that fills the whole tunnel. Yeah, it just barely got in through the entrance. Don't crash. Whew, hopefully that'll fit in the... So I think that that'll work. That's how we'll light this. So, actually, the lights can all be part of the same group as the tunnel lights. You don't need a separate set of, uh, setting for the like, garage lights, unless we want to. Or no, no, no. Tunnel lights can include this central tunnel in the garage, and the garage lights will, will be the um, the um, actual stalls. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that I like that. Or maybe they'll just be mood lights. Maybe I'll have, we'll have some lights up by the ceiling, but they'll be dimmer. There we go. Parked both vehicles that are outside our wheeled. One holds your small thing, two holds my large rovers. Huh? Yeah, three vehicles parked in the garage is now. Sweet. You know, the garage can hold like two or three of the small small rovers. Each one? Yeah, look yeah. over here, look behind you. The small rovers, yeah, you can fit a couple in each bay. Yeah. Okay, Sheaves, look, that works. Mm hmm. On, on each of these central cross beams, I can put lights, and, and at the it same. It says that the back end of the light will stick through. What? Uh, if you look on top of the the cross beams, you'll see that light suddenly sticking through. What are you talking it's about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, because the lights had actually had like a model that kind of pokes through a block. If you put it like on on these, that's where it stick through. Or this heads up. On the 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 armor panels, oh, stick through. I don't get what you're saying. It looks fine to me. Okay. Lights. Just remember to save the lights in, in the group of the garage lights. If you're doing that. No, these ones are going to be in the tunnel lights group. Or tunnel lights, yeah. Because they're the same save. settings. The... So you see, you have to save it. So it's clean. I know. Gotta place the lights first, and this back of this place still isn't being built. Oh well, I just wanted to quickly check my email, and guess what? Yeah. AMD is doing kind of kind of like a Russian-style campaign for their new thing, calling it like a rebellion. Okay. On the new card. How is that Russian style? Um, the ad stuff is all like um, it's not in Russian, but it's got kind of like a Russian style of signs and everything. No, how uh, they have to look all that blocky and stuff. Oh. From World War II and stuff. <laughs> That's how they look. So that whole, like, communist style of light. Of, yeah. Of yeah. Okay. If you want a medical bay, just to heal yourself, there's one right there. You can see it. How do I save these into the garage lights? Um, you select them and select the group of the garage, the the tunnel lights, and then click save. Okay. So I might go do that, and then you hit the um, hide from toolbar and hide from terminal twice. How do I get them to actually change color to match? Just select all of them and do it. I'll, I'll fix it if you want to match the tunnel lights. I gotcha. There we go. That looks cool. And then we'll have lights inside the actual bays, and those will just be probably white. I'm hoping today, before we end, I can at least get started on heading to a new new place off world. Mm. Just for a bit. And then for this, I want to do a thing in here. 
<laughs> Let's see. I gotta count this and figure out how much I've got. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Um, if I was to put one here. Oh crap, I don't actually have what I need to place concrete. I need girders. Once the ship goes up to 50% of the hydrogen tanks, I feel confident enough to start flying it towards one of the other planets, or the mm. moon of Mars, of Titan. Okay. Just a heads up if you, want, if, uh, if you want to join me. Because I am heading to a completely different planet when I do this. Interesting. Like that pink planet? Yeah. Hmm. Now, let's see. Are you coming inside? I'm in the garage. The airlock's just shifted for some reason. Grind that off. Wait, is it just bleed in? No. It's no. I'm trying to join, it's continually failing. Yeah. Uh, that's weird. The airlocks for me just shifted on the ship oh, for some yeah. reason, reason. It's a look nice. The ship's ready for takeoff. It's got the minimum requirement I wanted for how you shoot. All right. Well, I just finished this section of of ceiling, so it's not gonna. It's not building. But anyway, even it's the best time is any to take off. Then I'm coming. It's gonna take a while to get there. Your new ship, huh? Mhm. Mm All right. Well, new adventure. I'm in the cockpit, raid. We'll be back to work on this some more later. But let's go into the to infinity and beyond shoes. Yeah. As a, a great man once said. <laughs> Just when you enter the cockpit, make sure you close the door to the cockpit in the process. Sure. Don't crash the ship, by the way. <laughs> Are trying to jinx me? <laughs> <laughs> Let's save it. I don't know what I have not done to the ship yet. Ah. I have yet. I have to cut. Go. I almost forgot the blueprint. Okay. Are we leaving? Yeah. Just give me a second. Shiva. Da, 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 da. Get, get a passenger da, seat. Da, 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 da. And try for your life if you want. If you can. Alright. Let's blast off to Adventure Sheaves. Yeah. Blast off to Adventure. Goodbye. Mars planet. Hello, something else. Yep, All right, ready to jump, shoes? Yep, twenty. I'm just saying up the percentage and turning off the other jump drive so I don't burn. Right. Out. Okay, and Z. Getting ready. Yep. All right, Shiva, prepare for ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed, go! You see this I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Stay, stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.